Alright, uh, what's good with y'all chat? So, today I'm gonna show you how to install Game Guardian and um, Bluestacks. This is for Bluestacks 5, but it should work for the rest. So, first, download Bluestacks from Bluestacks.com. Just press on download. So, now that you have Bluestacks installed, just click on it, just run it. Now it's gonna ask for user account control, it's just blah blah blah, because you need an administrator to um install it. Now just install to default folder, it doesn't matter much. Just agree and install. It might ask for Windows Defender, but I don't think that really matters. So just wait for it to install. It's gonna take like maybe a few minutes to install it depending on your Wi-Fi connection. After it's installed, it should launch. Um, so it's almost done installing and I just realized that I could hear myself. So if there was an issue with the audio, I'm sorry, I fixed it now. And it's done installing, so it should pop up now. But it might take a few seconds. Perfect. So now that Bluestacks is installed, it's gonna launch it. Well, duh. And what I like to do is actually close all of these tabs because how to close again? They're pretty annoying. You can see all the advertisements. What I like to do is go to um, where was it? Preferences. And just disable the ads feature. Disable it and press save changes. There will, um, after restart, the ads will go and you won't have any ads. So now, as you can see, there's less ads, but Bluestack has just gone to the in shift, uh, in stage. So there's still a lot of ads, but you won't see them during the game. You could probably do some tweaks to remove those, but this isn't a tutorial about how to do that. Now let's get into how to install Game Guardian. So now I'm going to show you how to install Game Guardian. And first what I'd like to do is recommend you to go to the following path. Your C drive or wherever it's installed. Go to Program Data, uh, Program Data, Bluestacks NXT. Just open this file, the config file. Open it with Notepad. That's all you need. Now... What I like to do here is just search up root and just enable these. Just change if it's a zero to a one. Now also just change this to root access one. And then press control S to save. You can also just do file and save. Now you have root access, which I'm pretty sure it's, it is required. So, I'm going to cut back to when we have a game installed so I can show you how to do it. So now as you can see, I have a game installed. We'll just be using this game. It's called Super Penguins. It just doesn't have any encryption or whatsoever. That's why I'll be using this as an example. Now, just launch Chrome. I won't recommend just opening your browser. And you can always just open your browser and... um. Download it and then just run it, but it didn't work for me in this case. So just type Game Guardian. Once you're in um, Game Guardian, it should be GameGuardian.net. Open official downloads. Now I'll just press do not consent. And now on the iPad card, you actually need to select uh, different options. So just select for Knox Bluestacks. Press download. Now it should download. It might give you a warning that it's not Play Store safe. But and on Windows, it actually did get um, detected as a virus. But it's not. Don't worry. But just press install. Installs quick. This is not the actual game guide. You still need to do the installer. So now you have two of these. Just run any of them. If one doesn't work, try the other one. Press default. And now press settings, 
then go back install and now uninstall the installer root root and fail to obtain root access oh right so this was because i don't think i restarted it after i downloaded um set to root so just do this close bluestacks after you wrote that blue uh the root from using notepad so just type blue stacks and this time it should work if i'm not mistaken so once you have blue stacks open just run any of them just ignore it and now you have root so you can actually use it so as an example i would just be open penguins and just inject to the process and let me actually mute the mute the music so let's just skip the tutorial as you can see i have a thousand gold fish basically coins and uh just press ignore on this one a thousand new search just do auto because I remember what the value was last time. Now let's take, uh, I don't know, no ink splats, uh, splats. So just 500, we fine. Let's do it again, just for safe measure. I will be doing another one. So, right, I gotta do this. 300, and now this one has 200. All of them do. So I would just be making it, um, let's give myself, what, a thousand, a million. So I think that's a million. So now I should have a million coins. And it does work. Like, it works. Now some games may be encrypted or the values may be server-sided. Um, so it may not always work. But as you can see, I do actually have, like, all the coins like we can do double jump as an example so as you can see i can double jump and i still have the gold by the way now i don't okay i do actually have my tilt from before and if we just die for a second as you can see i still have my gold and it added it works so no need to pay money this is how you get infinite monies and that's also how you install Game Guardian. It's a very useful tool. Like I said, it might get detected as Agent X or Spyware by Windows Defender. Um, so just install it via BlueStacks and it won't give you that. Um, unless it goes into a shared folder. So, that's pretty much it. This is, this is how you install it. And... Just please like and subscribe because, you know, I mean, I'm very lazy, but I get more motivation with each subscriber, just so you know. So, that's it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, like and subscribe. If you have any issues, just comment it. Don't dislike it. Just comment it down below. And I will always respond to comments. I do actually respond. So, that's been Meatboxing. Have a great day and see y'all in the next video or tutorial. Shit, I don't know what it makes to be honest.